What's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mod 6 to the Sky. Guys, hey, we are going to be getting into mystical agriculture, but we have a slight problem, and it had to do with that guy who was up over there. Um, the Endermen are getting pushed over, and when they fall, they teleport. Now, there is a super-duper easy fix. We actually have, I believe, most of the items in our inventory to go ahead and do it. Uh, it's this little item called an Ender Inhibitor doohickey guy so we're gonna be doing that doohickey guy yeah that's the the real name for it you know stonks but they're kind of everywhere and so we really need to get this put over there all right so all so all we need to do put this guy here activate it now the enderman will not be able to teleport and we're gonna go ahead and fill this slot with ender pearls and we're good to go. Now we can just sit here and kill these guys. Oh, bye. Okay, there's an enderman in there. Oh, he must be on top. <laughs> okay, that's fine by me. Uh, I found the sweet spot for AFKing is like right here on this platform. If we stand, yeah, like on this block. They typically spawn. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this far departed. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to do with mystical agriculture. That's why we have this big area set up for it over there. If we look up here, we can see that we have 1,200 blocks of Inferium Essence, which is exactly the amount that is necessary. Um, so let's go ahead and get that taken care of. All right, so what we're going to want to go ahead and do is break this down into the Inferium Essence like so. We're also going to need some Prosperity Shards, uh, which we can just go like that for. Perfect. All right, so step one is to create this Infusion Crystal. Um, I think I have too much Inferium Essence on me at the moment. Let's get rid of a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to make the Infusion Crystal here. Bam, and infusion crystal, this guy. Now this thing has a thousand uses in it, so every time we craft up the next tier, we use one. The end goal, um, we're gonna be getting into this today, is to make uh, some Supremium Essence and make the Master Infusion Stone, because this thing does not use durability when you craft. So if we look here, place these guys all around, and you'll see that we will use uh, this yeah, it's got 936 uses left. So 936 plus 64 is 1,000, as you can see. Yep, the math is good in this case. So I'm going to do this for a bit. Um, we're going to turn it all into the Produtium Essence or whatever it's called, and then we will uh, move forward after that. All right, dudes, so we have a lot of it made up now. I didn't go ahead and make up all of it because we are limited on the amount of uses we have left for this guy. Uh, we'll be able to just do a little bit over a stack, but now we're going up into Tier 2. Um, or Actually, that's Tier 3, I lied. Uh, so yeah, it should break on this one here, and it is important that we do um, as much of the essence as we can because... The further up we get, it really, like, uh, like nine stacks of the uh, one essence is, like, worth, so that the, the inferi Inferium, like, nine stacks of that thing is worth, like, one Supremium or something along those lines, something close to that. So, yeah, we need all of the, the materials we can get because, as you can see, that was multiple stacks of items, and we only, we have less than a full stack. Um, yeah, it's... It's crazy. So look at that. We already got the Supremium. Super cool. That's because we have such a, a massive amount of Inferium blocks um, available to us. So now, in order to make the Master Infusion Stone, we need to make one of these guys. Every time I hear that, I think I'm taking damage. Uh, so that's super easy. Um, we should be able to make that right now. And the Master, master Infusion Crystal is ours. Cool. We can get rid of this guy. So now it doesn't matter. This thing is has unlimited uses. Now, I don't remember if it was Applied Energistics 2 or Refined Storage that had an issue using this guy. Uh, for some reason, like, you'd put the recipe in, and it would, would want one per craft. Uh, now, the problem, again, 
that I seem to be running into is that if we go, um, let's see, if we go recipe for here and we click, yeah, it only, even though this is unlimited, it only allows us to make one at a time. Um, I don't know if there's a way to fix that. Let me know because this is pretty tedious. I mean, we can do it, uh, but if there was a faster way to do it, It'd be fantastic. If I got to get into that pedestal mod that everyone's been talking about, uh, so be it. I don't really care. Uh, I'll, I'll just do that. But it it's tough. Uh, but now that we have this, uh, we have one more. Check it out. Yeah. Bam. Cool. He taking damage. So I think a stack of Inferium blocks equals one Supremium Essence. That's a crazy conversion to think about. So now that we have this stuff, what can we craft with it? Well, we can make the Supremium Seed Processor. We can make the Supremium Farmland. Uh, we can make the Supremium Coal, which burns forever. Uh, but the thing that I want to do... Where are you? we got to get into the pedestals because then we can make some Diamond Seeds and stuff like that. If we look... Uh, here, yep, diamond seeds, so these will give us diamonds, we don't have to do anything. Uh, so we need to go ahead and make the pedestals now, which is super simple. Uh, we do need some red dye. How did we get this red dye? Where did we even get the red dye from? Weird, weird, weird stuff is going on. Oh, we might have got it. Wait a sec. Okay, uh, so we need some more string, huh? I can do that, perfect. All right, now we have the red, and it does need to be red. Um, so let's see, infusion pedestal, we need gold and smooth stone. Cool thing is, is we kind of semi-automated the smooth stone. We definitely automated the gold, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead, and we're going to make this guy first, because it's going to tell us um, where to put the other pedestals and how many we're going to need. So we're going to put this dude right here, and yeah, we need eight pedestals. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those crafted up. We've got enough for four. What are we missing? Ah, we need more carpet. So what we're probably gonna need to do is bone meal the ground over here until we get a flower. Bed, you're gonna have to move. There we go. Got another flower. Ooh, even got a yellow one. And we also got some cool seeds as well that are clogging up my inventory. Okay, turn that guy into die, then around town. All right, now we have the remaining. Oh, we didn't need that many. <laughs> well, we more the merrier, right? All right, so you're there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So perfect, now all we need is a lever and we'll be able to start crafting up the diamond seeds. Super cool. All right, there's the lever. And now we need to make some prosperity seeds. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we got enough of those guys. All right, we can go ahead and make the diamond seeds right meow. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So that goes in the middle. I always just mirror the crafting recipe. I don't know if you can move these over one. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, but if we do this, you can see it's not working. If we take a redstone lever and do that, it's still not working. Are you causing issues? Oh, it's already done. Holy crap. Look at that. Diamond seeds. We are amazing. Cool, huh? Now, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is make a botany pot. Because this is going to be great. So the botany pots allow us to grow the plants like in a little one by one area. We don't have to have a special harvester. We just need one of these guys down below. 
All right, and so this is gonna require some clay. Now, do we have any clay left over from earlier in the pack? If not, we could very easily make it. Uh, we do, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna need, let's see here. We're gonna smelt those up 15, so that'll give us five. Then we're gonna use these to turn into hardened clay. All right, let's go ahead and make up a botany pot here. Go like this. Yep, as you can see, we have our botany pot. Very cool. Now we can take a hopper like so. We can combine these together. Oh. That's different. Printed circuit board. Frick. All right, so botany pots are kind of out of the picture, so we're going to be doing something a little bit different. For one, we got to make a hoe real quick. Um, yes, we have what we need. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a... That's not how you make a hoe. There we go. Uh, we're going to combine it with some dirt, I believe. We need to grab some saplings to refill this, by the way. Okay, I do have some saplings left, so we're not like in the farm on this uh, but those go in there we're gonna make some more dirt uh, we got ooh 54 dirt that's fantastic someone just died in there that was kind of interesting okay so yes this is what we're gonna be making here this is the supremium farmland we're just gonna make one of those for now um, and then we're gonna put this kind of in the corner so right where this torch is, that's where we're going to start the farmland. And we're going to put our seed here. And eventually we'll come back and uh, click this to have it grow. Uh, but I do believe there is a growth accelerator that we can make. Um, yeah, look at that. Grows the plants above at faster range 60 blocks. So you, you build this 60 blocks, or, yeah, 60 blocks down. And this... Like, it grows stupid fast. So we're going to be working on that eventually uh, when we start building the actual base that we're going to be having. Uh, but that's not going to be for a little bit. So we have our diamond seed growing over there. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to harvest it yet, but that's what we're going to be working on now. So this guy here um, does automate it. We will have to give it power, but I'm thinking we'll just do that with, like, an energy cell and a furnace generator so that we can just put, like, coal in there. And it will smelt up and store all of the energy so we have enough left. But let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to need two emeralds, a dispenser, which is going to require string and sticks and all of the, the business. So best plan of... Oh, we got the string here. All right, do we have three sticks available? I do not believe so. All right, we got some sticks here. Perfect. All right, that's going to allow us to craft the bow that we need beautiful grab one of those seven of those all right dispenser good to go all right so we need the emerald the quartz and then the mason plates now this stuff is going to take a little bit to make we need to make the mason steel which is iron mason cobblestone so we're going to need gravel cobblestone iron blocks uh and then some other stuff so i'm just going to Steal that stack. Okay, we go ahead. We go ahead. Yes, we make a bunch of this guy. Perfect. All right, we'll turn this into blocks. We're gonna need a lot more. We'll do this for now. Okay, recipe. Beautiful. Okay, that should be enough to make the mason steel all right and then to make the mason iron we need more iron blocks all right there we go uh we got the iron what do we need here mason cobblestone okay mason iron okay so if we go like this now Yes, perfect. We don't need that one torch. All right, so we have that done. Go ahead and click that, clear our inventory out a little bit. Place a torch, and now we're going to grab, where did my quartz go? Ooh, a little bit of frame right there. Sorry about that. 
One, two emeralds. Okay. Bam! We got the harvester. Very cool. Let's go ahead and place this down and see what we're working with here. Holy crap, this thing mines a very large space. Um, we can just have it be a 3x3 three three for now. We're probably going to make it a 5x5 five five eventually. Because uh, it only goes out to here. So it'll basically go out uh, two more blocks. So yeah, that'll be a, eventually a 5x5. Five five. So let's go ahead and just move that over now. Um, we're actually going to put it right in front. Because we can make it a 1x1. One one. Bam. Yep, there we go. Perfect. All right, and then all we need after that is some power. And the best way that we're going to do that is from... Where did those guys go? I had some furnace... Furnators, something like that. Where did the furnators go? Hello, hello, furnators, where'd you go? Ah, here they are. Okay. Go ahead and grab this guy. We weren't really using it for power because we were, we're producing quite a bit over there. Uh, but we're going to put this guy right under it. All right, this is filling up with power. Uh, always on. Once this thing grows, we'll be good to go. Why? It says 0% growth, but it's on Supremium Farmland. Yeah, it says Supremium. It works on it. Weird. It's not letting it go. Okay. Um, all right. That's kind of odd. Okay. So I've added some more um, farmland over here. I did use this and it did become moist when like, I put the water in here. But uh, still getting 0% from the diamond siege, which is kind of weird. Uh, I even moved this over because I thought that might have had something to do with it. Uh, but I just saw that that one there became moist as well. And it did take quite a while. So maybe the Supremium needs to become a darker color. We're going gonna, gonna to take a screenshot here and compare it next time I see it. But uh, we're going to leave that alone for a bit and work on some other stuff. Uh, we need to craft some more seeds up. Um, so we're going to make the air seeds, I guess, is what we can make. Uh, which is going to be... Just a water bottle, gravel, dirt, and clay. Um, it's only one, so I need to have two more clay available. Um, that's good. We can just come over here. I've got two more clay available. All right. We should have a little bit of glass in here still. Yep, one, two, three. All right. Oh, we're going to need more of those. Okay. And then what else? We're going to need dirt. We have the dirt. And we're going to need gravel. Do we have the gravel? We've got it somewhere. There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and craft up this air stuff. We made six of them. Cool beans. All right. So that just takes Inferium and that. Cool. That's easy to make. All right. Let's get over here. Shoo. We're going to put the Prosperity Boy there. Inferium. And... Whoop. Bam! Dunsky. Cool. Air seeds. Oh, wait. Ah, this is darker now. I see. I see. I see a Lee. All right, so we got the air seeds there. Diamond seeds here. Still not growing. 
Am I doing something wrong? Weird. All right, let's check out the quest. So we should... Okay, yep, we have this. We can complete this guy. Okay, we got some prosperity seeds. Very cool. Um... Oh, I don't have any of those guys with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and make up the blue tier. Yes, there we go. Okay. And then we can actually make some Insanium while we're at it and get the quest completed for that. And then turn it back into Supremium. All right. So this opens up all the seeds that we're going to be wanting, which is fan-freaking-tastic. Um... Circle of Souls. Gaia Spirit. Spirit. Okay, so yeah, Terra Steel, Elementium Seeds, Stone, Wood. Okay, so the Element, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, eight of those dudes. Maybe we need some light? A better light source? I'll put it right on top of the Harvester. These both are still at 0%. Maybe you need to plant it on the soil. Okay, so we got the diamond seed quest done. Bam. No rewards. That's pretty lame. What the frick? Alright, so there's a chance that this might not grow out of, like, the botany pot or like that. Um... Or of a garden cloche. Ooh, resistive heater. Okay, so those are a bit more difficult. Um, but a hopper botany pot? This might be something we try to go ahead and make eventually. Um, but the way that we could test this is by just putting it in the botany pot because it should grow while it's in there. And we might just need to automatically click it every so once in a while. Which would be pretty manual and pretty lame, but as long as it's working, I don't really care. <gasps> oh my gosh, I feel stupid. That just ate. Oh, well, there goes a stack of that. All right, so that's placed in there. It's growing. Okay, so it looks like we do need to get the botany pots and stuff for it, which is really lame. This isn't going to work. Uh, so we'll have to go ahead and, I guess, change our approach. Dang, I wonder if you could pipe that in with a cable from, like, mechanism. I am, we're going to try that. Because if we could take the item out with a uh, transport cable and put it in, we kind of bypass that whole challenge. All right, so as you see over on the left side, it says the progress 100%. So this thing isn't going to reset until I click it. Uh, and we're going to see if we can kind of bypass that. Now, I do have a feeling that this might be uh, not available for us to do. But I'm still going to try it because uh, that's what we do here. Okay. All right. So that does connect. If I go like this and we go, okay, click, click. All right. I'm going to wait here that minute and 40 seconds and we're going to see if it works. All right, so we're five seconds here, and let's see, 100%, it's not pulling out, no, oh, no, it requires us to do that, uh, that's lame, that's real lame game, <laughs> it's super automatic, uh, you can't grow it on anything. All right, guys, so for the remainder of the video, we're going to be going ahead and trying to make some witch water here. Uh, this is actually a pretty simple process to make. Uh, if we look here, witch water, uh, you put water into a barrel or stone barrel surrounded by a mycelium, and it turns into witch water. So we're going to be working on that now. Uh, so we're going to need to make a spot. Let's go ahead and move the, we're going to put it, I think, right over here would be a good spot. Hello? Okay. That was kind of weird. Um, we're going to put it over here. 
We'll, actually, no. We'll put the mycelium guy over here. That way we don't have to really worry about it. Um, and then we'll also use, like, can we, do we have sinks in this? I think it would be perfect. <gasps> yes, we do. Okay, so we can use this for infinite water. It's the same recipe, too. Cool. So we're going to break that torch. And actually, we're going to put that there. Cool. We can sift those, get the ancient spores, and then that's how we'll get the items out. We're going to need to make the barrels, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, we got one barrel. That's better than no barrels. All right, we are going to make these out of the wood because I think the wood looks better, even though we probably shouldn't do the wood. All right, so we got these two guys now, so we can break... Break it here, like so. Okay, as you can see, bam, mycelium will go around there. Um, let's see. Ancient spores will turn dirt into mycelium. Okay, so we need to get some ancient spores. We get that by sifting dirt. We can do this. Uh, we need to set up our sifter again real quick. We're going to use those guys. Uh, where do we want to put it? Let's put them here. That way we got room around it. No one gets mad because items are going into the void. Okay, so we're going to sift the dirt here. That dog died. Ancient spores right there. Bam, got it. Okay, so many seeds. Holy crap. All right, we even got more seeds. Cactus seeds, grass seeds, large fern seeds, sweet berry seeds, melon seeds, wheat seeds. Got a bunch of pebbles. What do we got here? We got potatoes, sugar cane, beetroot, ancient spore... Stone pebble, fern seeds, bamboo seeds, jungle seed, spruce, acacia, diorite, dark oak seeds. All oh, perfect. Okay. So let's get over here. We're going to try to do this strategically. Um, so bam, bam, and bam. That will let those grow. And then now if we pump water into there, it will give us the goods. <laughs> Oh, we need to make some more, uh, do we, no, we don't have enough terracotta. Or we do have enough terracotta. We need a iron bucket. That's fine. Okay. So right here, make the sink. Bam. Okay, now we need some pipes. Uh, I believe, yes, pipes are here. Mechanical pipes. Perfect. All right, poof, and then we go like this. These are filled up, and da, 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 why? Can you make a watering can? Is that a thing? We can make it from here, Inferium. Um. Yeah, let's make the Inferium watering can. This will allow us to increase the tick speed. As you can see, that grew over there, but it's just not fast. And I wonder if we have to have, like, mycelium directly under it. Because this can make it look a little less cool, but we can still, it'll, it'll still look fine. Um, hello, zombie. We got acacia saplings, so cool. Seawater bucket, how do you make seawater? Oh, sand. Okay, so we might need to make another one of those. What is this used for? Brain coral, fire coral. Okay, so this gives us the coral blocks. I don't know why we need that. Seawater thermal resistance. This is for heat pipes from Pneumaticraft. 
What are you used for? Only to that. We don't really need that. And then mob summoning. Oh. Oh, the dolls. Look at that. It gives us a wither skeleton head and a top of a shulker. Cool. Okay. What are we looking for? Yes, the watering can. Okay. So watering can, bone meal, iron, and a bowl. And a bowl. Right, let's get those bowls made up. All right, we got the iron still. Perfect. And the bone meal. Okay. So watering can, good to go. Making the essence. I don't even think we have that, but we can make it with that stuff. Cool. All right, now we do need some diamonds. I don't know if this is going to be enough diamonds. It is going to be enough of diamonds. Missing the ingots. Ah, oh, we need to make a prosperity ingot. Ah, oh, we need to get a prosperity. We need to prosper. Uh, we need to grab some more. Okay. Prosperity ingot. All right. And then those dudes. And there we go. Inferium watering can. Now, can I just can I just shift click this over here? Does this work? Nope, we gotta go to the source. Filled, okay, so it says it's filled up. So now if we come over here to this mycelium, we should be able... Ooh, that one's got witch water, that one's got witch water. That one's got witch water. Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna have to take the, the witch water out the back. Like so, because as you can see, this should... Yeah, this is making witch water, which is great. Um, we need to grab a tank real quick. We can just make a tank. One, two, three. Oh, we have everything for a tank. Um, except the iron ready. So I believe it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nope, everything's over one. Oh! Oh! How do you make the mechanism tanks? Oh, it's redstone. That's even freaking easier. All right, these guy, bam, got that dude. How do we upgrade? Okay, let's go into the tier two, bam, perfect. All right, the advanced fluid tank is what we want. We're gonna put this dude right here. So it means we need one more fluid pipe. That's lame, we're one short. All right, we just need steel and a bucket. All right, now combine those. We get these guy. And this will start to fill up with witch water. Bam. This thing's already half over halfway full. That's crazy. Where? There's no water in there. I'd like for there to be mycelium under here. That's still filled. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay, that guy grew. Hmm, that one doesn't seem to want to grow. But anywho, is that filled yet? No, it's not perfect. Oh, how do we get water in here? Um, hmm. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, hmm. We need a way to get the water out of there without or get the witch water out of there without getting the water out of there. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we have 16 millibuckets of witch water, which will come in handy later. That's going to wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. If you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure you hit that playlist that's about to pop up on your screen, and you guys can check out the series from the start. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.